is going on guys, Voltron Blaze here, and today I'm bringing you guys a video on Would You Rather, which is a game online, um, actually not even really called the, 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 you find it online, I got, that, the link will be down in the description below, but the, it's called either, but it's, it's Would You Rather, essentially, but the website is either, anyways, I'm making this way too complicated, bringing you a video on Would You Rather, it's basically, it's like Would You Rather, this or that, you get two options, blue or red, and then, um, with, depending on how many people agreed, you're either in the majority or the minor minority. There's a percentages on there, like as you guys see on the screen right now. I didn't answer that one. I guess it's like the one that automatically starts you on. But um, I've played this game before with an Ninja Gamer. We did a challenge video on it that I have yet to edit or upload, but I hopefully will, hopefully will get out by the end of the month. It's long. It seems like a while to edit it, but uh, it's whatever. Okay. Anyways, it's pretty simple. Uh, so. There's some thinking behind some of the questions, which is the fun part. And then there's the easy one. It's like red or blue, and then you pick. Anyways, let's jump into this immediately. Sometimes the website gets a little laggy, though. So there might be a lot of cuts while I wait for it to load to the next page. But anyways, would you rather spend Monday to, to, send Monday to Saturday, from Monday all the way to Saturday, knocking down the wall off China for the rest of your life, or never, never be able to leave your bedroom? If you're spending Monday... To Saturday, on um, knocking down the wall of China for the rest of your life. You're spending mon Monday to Saturday knocking down the wall of China for the rest of your life. You get one day, <laughs> which is Sunday. You would probably just be like really tired on Sunday and you want to just like sleep. You got Monday to Saturday and then you have Sunday of just doing whatever you want. But do you get paid for doing that? I mean, and, and if you're never never able to leave your bedroom, you'd have to have, like, a mini fridge in your bedroom, uh, stuff to sustain food. How would you go shopping if you're living alone? You'd probably end up dying if you were never able to leave your bedroom because you wouldn't have anything to, to eat. You, uh, you, uh, it's, okay, I'd have to spend Monday to Saturday knocking down the wall of China, off China for the rest of my life. But what about when the wall is fully gone? Because, I mean... I bet you wouldn't be the only one knocking down this wall, right? There'd be other people, or if it's just you. <laughs> this is gone. I mean, I don't know. I'd probably have to just spend Monday through Saturday knocking down the wall, because if I'm never able to leave my bedroom, I'd probably die. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, peeps. I'm in the minority. Okay. Anyways, would you rather have a Brooklyn accent or have a Boston accent? Well... My grandma has Brooklyn accent, so I guess I'd go with Brooklyn. Yeah, 66% of people agree. Okay. Would you rather always get caught in traffic or always have really bad internet? That would suck. If you're always getting caught in traffic, that would also suck because it'd be really hard to get home. But if you always have really bad internet, God, I'd rather get stuck in traffic all the time because, like, if you're in that bad internet, how do you like upload? Like, how do I how do I upload? I can't upload anymore with really bad internet. It takes like an hour for like a five minute upload. Nah, I'd rather always get caught in traffic. Eighty three percent of people agree. That's sad. But look how many people answered. That's not even like that many compared to the other questions. Okay, like I'm in the majority by a high percentage. <laughs> okay. Would you rather only be able to whisper or only be able to shout? Well, if I'm only able to shout, I'd be kicked out of probably every single, um, <coughs> every single, uh, what is it called, library in the world, seeing as I don't really go to libraries anyways. Well, but then I, I still have to go to, like, college and stuff, so if I'm only able to shout, that'd be, like, really bad. <laughs> but if I'm only able to whisper, that'd also be really bad. And I'm kind of a loud person, too. Uh, I don't know. It also says when speaking, it's always in the same volume and no surgery is allowed. <gasps> I don't know. Would I rather only be able to whisper or only be able to shout? Ah, uh, man, it's like whispering. That's really hard. That's a hard one. I don't know. What do I do? I, I, I probably shout more often than I whisper, so I guess I'd rather be able to shout. Oh, God. It's going like side by side because lag. Like, we're not. Okay. Dang, a lot more people would only be able to whether only be able to whisper. I guess I see where they're coming from. But what's the real definition of shout? Because like you could if you have a low voice and you're shouting, you're not really like that loud. Like if you're not loud, like you're generally if you talk like this and then shouting for you would be talking like this. 
you're talking like this all the time, you know? So, I don't know. Anyways, 72% of people would rather only be able to whisper. So I'd be talking like this all the time. No, I'd rather be able to shout. So, whatever 72% of people, you guys suck. Would you rather never be able to compliment or never be able to complain? If you're never able to compliment, good luck finding yourself a girlfriend. Uh, cause, uh, yeah, she, she'd go get away from me real quick. Uh, you'll never be able to complain, which kind of suck. I mean, I guess that'd be good if you are not really the person that compl I, I complain about a, a lot of stuff. So, I, I guess, it, you'll never be able to compliment. So you can be like, nice shoes. Like, what, I mean, never be able to complain. You could have other people complain for you, and you could have other people like, compliment for you. Like, hey, compliment her for me. No, complain for me. I guess I'd rather never be able to complain. Good guy, Mauricio. Okay. Okay. Yeah, major majority there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, would you would you rather snort one crushed up Altoid mint? Spearmint. Or take a shot of Tabasco shot sauce. Would you would you die from snorting it? Like how crushed up is it? Is it like cocaine? God, it's like Altoid. Take a shot of Tabasco sauce. One point five ounces. It'd be less painful to just take the shot of Tabasco and then chase it up. If you're snorting it, that's gonna be that's gonna hurt your. No I no, I'd way rather take a shot of Tabasco sauce. Yeah, yeah, 64% of people agree with me. Why would you, if you're snorting that up, you know how bad it's gonna hurt your nose afterwards? You'd be like, it's gonna be stuck in your nose for at least like the next day. Like the next 24 hours, you're just gonna have Altoid mint stuck up your nose. Well, no, <laughs> I would, I would really rather take a shot of Tabasco sauce. Okay. Would you rather have Pokemon be real or superheroes exist? Well, if superheroes exist, that means super villains exist. And if super if superheroes exist, you're not really gonna get anything out of it, cause like you don't have any powers, right? It's, like, it's not saying that you have any powers, but if you're if Pokemon are real, you could go down to the supermarket, buy a Pokeball, and there you go. It could become Ash Ketchum and become po Pokemon Master. I would way rather have Pokemon be real. What? You guys? Why would you rather have superheroes exist? You're, it doesn't mean you're gonna be a superhero. <laughs> Anybody could catch a Pokemon, but not anybody could become a superhero. That's dumb. And if you're a superhero, I mean, super villains are going to exist. And if Superman is not it's pretty dang reckless, you know, he'll probably kill you on accident trying to fight some villain. <laughs> Why? Pokemon are way better. You could be like Blastoise. I don't know. You could like pick up women with an Eevee. Like send out your Eevee and then like be a chick magnet, you know? <laughs> Pokemon. No, no. I don't agree with you, 51% of people. Would you rather be an excellent singer or a superb writer? <laughs> Master of Fine Arts. Yeah, um, I don't like writing. I guess I could be a superb writer or I could be an excellent singer. I guess if I'm a superb writer though, like I could, I could sell the books I make, but if I'm a singer, I, I could sing well. I don't know, like, <laughs> doesn't mean you're gonna get anywhere if you're an excellent singer, but if you're a superb writer, you could easily make like really good books and publish them and it'll be like awesome. I'd rather be a superb writer. Yeah, you know what? I'd rather be a superb writer. I'm, most people are probably not gonna agree with me on this one, but think about it. Now, there's a lot of excellent singers out there. You know, there's people that sing good, but they don't do anything with it. If you're a superb writer, you can make a book and go publish it because you're superb, you know? So yeah, like, okay, whatever, fine. Don't agree with me. Would you rather be a hawk or be a shark? I've actually thought about this before um, surprisingly enough, I would way, way rather be a hawk. You get to fly, and you get to, like, look down, and you can, like, fly to a window. <laughs> Never mind. You can look down. But anyways, like, a shark is just so boring. You're down in the ocean. I don't really like the ocean, too. That'd be scary. No, I'd rather be a hawk. Forget sharks. See, see if people agreed with me on this one. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Like, why would you, what, what's so good about being a shark? You're just gonna be evil, and everybody's gonna hate you. You're probably gonna die, too. Like, people are gonna wanna, like, chop off your fin and crap. No, forget sharks. Sharks are in the past. Okay, would you rather change your religion or change your political party? Well, I'm not 
really in a political party. Like, I'm not Republican or Democrat. I guess Independent would be more my political party. I don't really care. I don't, I don't care about <laughs> what, like, if you're Democrat or Republican. I care about, like, your policies, you know? If I'm looking at, like, candidates, for example, the 2016 election is coming up. But if I'm looking at candidates and comparing them all, I'm not going to compare them from Democrat to Republican. I'm going to look at what they stand for. And then that's who I pick who I like. You know, I'm not going to go and be like, this guy's Democrat. I don't like you. You're Republican. I like you, you know, or vice versa. So I'd rather look at all the things. So religion, I wouldn't want to change my religion, but I don't really have a political party. I guess I'd rather change my political party, but I'm not really in a political party. So I, I'm in the minor, my minor, my majority. Gosh, I can tell by the numbers, but. Gosh, this is so laggy. Look at that. Look at that. Why is it so laggy? Why are you so laggy? This is freaking ad going on down here. That might be it. Yeah, look at that. Look how many people agree. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not I'm not really in a political party anyway, so that wouldn't really matter. So, yeah. Would you rather live in a giant peach or live in a giant shoe? What kind of shoe? we're talking about here is it like it's like a luxurious shoe peach is kind of gonna be all gross and nasty but a shoe's gonna smell no actually it could be a brand new shoe and it could be like a really awesome big shoe it could be like decked out inside a peach could be too and it'd probably smell better in there to be perfectly honest with you but i don't think i'd rather go for a giant shoe really why a peach a peach is gonna be all like gross gross and mushy and i uh, know why Whatever. Would you rather only be able to see the world in a shade of red or barely hear people when they speak? It's like you're having sunglasses on all the time. Uh, I like hearing people. I think I'd rather just wear sunglasses, basically. Yeah, that's what, that's what it's saying. It's saying, like, wear... It's not a... It doesn't say a dark shade of red, so you could be, like, a really light thin, very light shade of red. Like, very, very light shade of red. Why, was, why didn't they put that on the red and, you know, flip, whatever, whatever, okay, whatever. All right. Would you rather be famous in this lifetime or go down in the history books? Well, if you're famous in this lifetime, you'll probably be remembered down the line, unless it's something, like, not really famous, where you're not really that remembered. I guess history books is different. I, man, man, I don't, <laughs> well, what am I going down in history for? Am I going down in history for something bad or good? I mean, if we're assuming I'm going down for something good, for doing something amazing, that I'd be awesome to have my name down in the history books for being this awesome dude who did something really cool, you know? But it also could be something bad, like freaking Hitler went down in history books and look what he did. If you're a Hitler supporter, what I, anyway, just get out of here. <laughs> like Hitler went down in history books, right? And but it's famous in this lifetime. Uh, back in Hitler's timeline, he was famous too. In that lifetime, he wasn't famous for a good thing. He was famous in German. In yeah. So like I don't. Yeah, I think I'd rather. Ah, uh, man, it's hard. This is a hard one. Hard one. So I'm not gonna do it. I'm going to leave this one up to you guys. So tell me, would you rather be famous in this lifetime or go down in the history books? Um, tell me down below, I guess, because I don't know. I'm going to click on one after the video to see what the percentages are, though. But <laughs> I'm, I'm interested to know, would you guys rather be famous in this lifetime or go down in the history books? So tell me. But anyways, guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. Uh, and wait, did I say, yeah, hit that like and that subscribe for more content, more would you rather if you want to see this. Um, or some other games I could play because I'm trying to add more things to my channel, spice it up so it's not just the same games over and over and over and over and over again. But anyways, yeah, I had fun doing this. <laughs> it's a fun game. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh huh. I'm Voltron Plays. Remember, answer this down below. Be famous in the time, go down the book. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!